Hello everyone. So the last time we saw the Dice family, Brian's aged up from a newborn into an infant. So I think we are going to have to get them another cot because they have three babies and only two. We call these a cot. Um, I'm sure everybody else knows it as a crib. So I'm going to try and say the word crib. <laughs> so they need another crib for their third infant. So let me do that quickly. Okay, so we can sell the bassinets and get another crib. Maybe just another one of these. Right, so we have an extra crib so everybody can be placed down in their crib to go to sleep unless they are hungry. Okay, so Bryant is fine. Is this Bryant? Caden. Okay, mom can feed Caden. Where's Hugo? Oh, what is he doing outside? Okay, let's get dad to give him a bottle. They always just seem to dump their babies outside and then <laughs> can never find them. Alright, so dad can feed him. Bottle feed. Brian's had a reach milestone unlocked. Okay. Dad's looking a bit podgy. He looks like he maybe needs some exercise. Must be all those meals he's been eating. Why has she not... Why did she put him down to sleep and not feed him? Hey, she just is not listening. Bottle feed. Okay. Maybe she fed the wrong baby. There's a bottle lying here. And now Marco's hungry. Okay, well let's let him... Once he's fed Hugo, he can go and get himself something to eat. Fruit salad is probably the cheapest thing. They need some more money. Let's see if he's got anything. All right, let's sell that. Wow, 99 bell peppers. I'm going to sell those. Oh, wow. Okay. That just boosted their finances. And we can sell those as well. New bells. Daisies. Chrysanthemums. I thought I sold the daisies already. Did I somehow skip that? So who needs help? Brian's? Oh, first blowout milestone unlocked. Oh dear. Okay, mom's going to change him, so that's fine. Okay, so everybody's been fed. Poor Caden <laughs> needs to be cleaned. Now, they don't have a bath, so they cannot bath the baby. She'll just have to change his dirty diaper. Shame, they really do need some more space in this house. It's really not enough space for the five of them. Okay, so all the babies are fed and relatively happy. So Marco, after... Why is Marco just standing there? Come on, dude. Assume your fruit salad. Oh, is there any leftovers? Why is he complaining? All right, just get the leftovers then if you too too hungry to cook he just wants to eat straight away and then he can go and do some gardening if he harvests all this produce he can sell and maybe we'll have some money to expand their home I think the children do need a bigger bedroom and I actually want to give them a bathtub okay Hugo is playful he likes playing in the flower pot so let him go and do that this poor child is always outside, which I suppose is not a bad thing. Caden is miserable. Why is he sad? Oh, he needs his rest time. Where is he? I thought he was. Why is she not? Why is everybody just standing around today? Put Caden to sleep. Alright, and let's put Brian's in his cots as well. Okay, so he's harvested everything that he can. It's, I thought there was a lot more to harvest, but there obviously wasn't. Just 24 mushrooms. Okay. Let's sell the mushrooms. Let's sell the chrysanthemums. Why did he not... Okay, let's harvest that as well. And sell. Right, let's see if 985 simoleons is enough to do a little bit of an expansion on their house. So I'm thinking we maybe just expand the children's room. We might have to move this tree. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so we can expand it that way. 
I want to be able to put all three cribs in this bedroom and give mom and dad a bit of privacy in their bedroom. It's a bit awkward to get to the children's room. You have to walk through their bedroom, but maybe we can block it off somehow. What we could, what we could do is maybe put a wall here. Okay, well let's just, oh, okay, they're already, so if we do that and extend that. Oh, I must remember to fix the roof as well. Can just okay. We can move this window. Okay, so maybe if we break down this wall. Okay, so I've somehow made the parents' room smaller, the children's room bigger, and I think I'm going to move the door to. They're still going to have to walk through their bedroom to get to the children's room for now, but I'm thinking of maybe adjusting their kitchen at some points, making their kitchen bigger, but when they've got a little bit more money, because I still want to maybe get them a bathtub. And there's this funny puddle on the floor. All right, so maybe move this. So they've got a nice play area over here, and <laughs> I love the way they just dump their babies anyway. All right, so, okay, if we put that there, they won't be able to get to there. What is this? Why is it here? How much is a changing table? Let's maybe actually sell that and see how much a changing table is. Is this the cheapest? Okay, that's not too bad. Where are we going to place? Oh, I'll expose this space here. Oh, not outside. Here in the corner, over that dirty nappy. <laughs> I suppose if we cover the dirty nappy, there will always be a strange smell in their room. So let's... Okay, this will just have to do for now. I don't want to decorate right right away because I still want to get them a bathtub. So let's see if we've got enough for a bathtub. We might have to extend. Okay, let's sell the shower. I don't know if we'll have space for a bath in here. It's such a tiny little bathroom. I think I'm actually, let's extend that. Okay, now we should have space for a bath. Wow, okay. Why do they have this fancy light? I suppose it's not it's not expensive, is it? I'm actually gonna move the basin to here. Okay, that's a bit I don't wanna give them that one. I'm actually gonna go with the spa day tub. Why do they have puddles all over their house? Have they got some major leak somewhere? <laughs> There's puddles everywhere. Just move that. Okay, so they've got 140 simoleons left. Oh, let's just fix this roof as well. Sure, it's amazing what you can do when you sell a few vegetables and flowers. You're able to expand your home. Well, in the Sims anyway. Okay, let's just make sure everyone is fed. Is she weaning them? She seems to be bottle feeding them, so she's probably trying to wean them. Where's Caden? <laughs> Poor Caden. Marco can come and put him in a crib. Okay, Brian's got a love's been held quirk. Is Hugo still playing? Okay, so he's actually getting tired, so when mom's done with the other baby, she can put Hugo to bed. Okay, Marco, it's time to get cracking in the garden. Can do some research. Do some grafting. He's got some spliced garden shoots. Research. Ooh, take a cutting, but you go to sleep and then you can go and have a nice bath. What about a bubble bath? Oh, all these babies are all of a sudden miserable. Okay, what's the problem? Okay, Hugo is hungry. All right, so poor mom's trying to have a nice, quiet, peaceful bath and then everyone decides to scream and cause chaos. All right, so let's first feed you. I thought she fed him already. Oh, uh, maybe she fed the... Oh, they all look the same. <laughs> all right, bottle feed Hugo. All right, what is Caden's problem? Okay, he's not too hungry. Maybe she should feed him as well. All right, let's just feed all of them. Oh, okay, he wants to be breastfed. All right. Okay, Bryant is just tired. Marco's enjoying himself. He's researching, taking cuttings, grafting. I'm hoping he increases his gardening skill. What is his gardening skill at the moment? 
Okay, he's almost about to reach level 8 of gardening. Thank goodness. Hooray! Level 8 of the gardening skill. Okay, two more levels and then we can cross one out of three off of our list of having to max three sims with the gardening skill. Okay, so I'm going to say goodbye to the Dias family. And say hello to the Smith family. Our two brothers are enjoying themselves. So as usual, Warren is dancing away and Jason is watching TV. I think it's time for them to invite over some friends. So it's Wednesday evening and Warren is going to invite over Arabella and his girlfriend Samantha. And Jason doesn't look too happy about this. So Jason better go quickly clean up all the mess. And Warren can invite everyone in. So I wonder if Jason should try flirt with Tempt Introduction. Is she a celebrity? She must be. Oh, she's an artist. I think she sold a few paintings and now she's a bit of a celebrity. Let's see, once he's finished cleaning, he can try to introduce himself to Arabella. And Warren is flirty because he is in the presence of Samantha, his new girlfriend. Oh, passionate kiss. <laughs> you are my favorites. Okay. <laughs> and Jason has gone to hide in his room. What happened with the attempt introduction? She's hiding in the bathroom. He's hiding in his room. Maybe he should just <laughs> mess around with his guitar. Her Arabella, is she shy? She's just... What is she doing? It looks like she's singing to herself or talking to herself. Now she's going to do some push-ups. Jason looks angry, like angry guitar player. Okay, looks a bit happier now. Where did Samantha go? Oh, she's gone to watch the guitar. I wonder what Samantha would do if Warren flirted with Arabella. Let's see. Flirting in front of your girlfriend, not a good idea. Okay. Nothing came of that. Shall we try again? Off the rose. Oh, Samantha wasn't happy about that. I don't blame her. It's a bit of a player, this Warren. Okay, so she doesn't seem too bothered about the fact that he was giving another girl a rose. <laughs> What's he begging for forgiveness? <laughs> Okay, so both girls have come to watch Jason play his guitar. And Warren's back to dancing on his own. Okay, well we'll say goodbye to the Smith brothers. And we can actually go and say hello to Melvin. So it's pouring with rain and Melvin is actually <laughs> researching in the garden. Which is a good thing because we need to get his gardening skill up as well. But he has nothing to harvest yet. He has all these oversized crops and none of them are ready for harvest so hopefully in the morning they will be and Samantha is still at the Smith Brothers house oh looks like Marco has come to visit all right let's go chat with Marco why is he upset okay let's see what the problem is we can stop gardening did he have a fight with Isabella maybe he just wanted to get away from all those kids Okay, he seems pretty upset about something. He's about gardening. Hopefully that will take Marco's mind off everything that was bothering him. Okay, so Melvin is hungry, so maybe he can prepare a meal for himself and Marco. Serve dinner. What are we going to make? Frank and beans. What? Did he just climb in our bathtub? <laughs> I just got them a bath. Why doesn't he use his bath at home? He just got a brand new bath at home and he comes to Melvin's house to use their bath. Gosh, okay. <laughs> Is he leaving now? He came to use the bath and now he's leaving. No? Looks like he's talking to the plants. Sure, it's one o'clock in the morning and Samantha is still not home. I wonder if Melvin's worried about her. And Marco's doing push-ups in our flower beds. Oh, here we go. Samantha's just arrived home. Okay. Why is she sad? Drifting love from jealousy. Oh, she caught the love of her life flirting with another. 
Oh, shame. Okay, well, she might as well go to bed. Cry it out. All right, let's cry it out. And Melvin is exhausted as well. I'm sorry, Samantha. It looks like Warren's a bit of a player. Anyway, she's going to cry it out with her shoes on. And Marcus just helped himself to some frank and beans. And Melvin's off to bed. Oh, Samantha finished crying. Okay, well, now she can go to sleep. So let's say goodbye to Samantha and Melvin. They're both fast asleep. So we can say hello to Bella and her two twin boys, Benson and Braden. And Arabella is back from visiting Warren and Jason. And looks like she's back to painting. She's actually full of energy and she's very happy. So I'm going to leave her to it. And Bella is starving. Looks like she just made herself something to eat so she can... So the babies are fine. They should be aging up soon. Oh, all right, I spoke too soon. This one is not happy. All right, Bella's gonna... Oh, she's actually coming to hold the baby. All right. Looks like he might need a diaper change. No? Okay, maybe he just needs a feed. Okay, she's feeding him. Oh, he has Benson awake as well. He definitely needs a diaper change. All right, let's change dirty diaper. Oh, she's doing it all to my... Oh, okay, she's feeding him. Shouldn't she change his dirty diaper first? I wouldn't want to be fed with a dirty diaper. Okay, well, anyway, she can change his diaper when she's finished feeding him. Let's see how Arabella's getting on with it. Oh, okay. Sell to collector. They still need some more furniture in their house. Tina, she's doing so well with her needs. She's a happy girl. We are going to make her paint some more. Maybe a confident painting? We're going to have to do some renovating to their house as well sometime because they are going to need some extra bedrooms for these two little boys. And so Arabella has her room downstairs. We could probably fit some bedrooms in here. But I'm just going to wait until they have a little bit more money. Maybe when the babies are toddlers, we can give them their own room. Okay, so poor Bella is exhausted. Let's get her to sleep. And Arabella is still... Oh, okay, that's a cute little painting. Oh, it's Harvest Fest, so no school today. Okay, let's sell to Collector. Okay, so she's getting hungry. Let's get her something to eat. Grab a serving. Bella's fast asleep. I, oh, there's some gnomes in the house. And the baby is awake. Well, both babies are awake. You know what? I'm actually going to age them up. I'm dying to see what they look like as infants. All right, let's age them up. Oh, Benson aged up. I'm going to randomize. It's weekly. Okay. Oh, cute. All right. Oh, shame. Benson is miserable. And Brayden, let's randomize. Oh, he's sunny. Okay. Right, so poor little Benson is hungry. Let's feed him. And Brayden is also hungry. We're going to have to... F sure, I cannot imagine having twins. Respect to the moms that have more than one baby. Twins, triplets. Drive me insane. <laughs> Okay, so let's feed our babies and let's check on Arabella. What is, oh, she's busy eating. Okay, so it's harvest fest. Maybe she can try and appease the gnomes. I can't remember which ones, what these ones like. Why are they three all the same? Normally they're different. That's interesting. We have three gnomes and they're all exactly the same. And I cannot remember what one, what these gnomes like. Mmm, Coffee? can't remember okay let's give them okay coffee give coffee I've never had that happen before that there are <laughs> three gnomes that are exactly the same they're always different ah oh, we got some seeds all right well Bella's the gardener in the family so she can we'll put them in her inventory okay so we've appeased the gnomes what else decorates put that away oh someone is really angry oh shame they don't have a crib okay let's remedy that quickly can 
sell these bassinets. Okay, so we have quite a bit of money, but now we're going to go and spend it all on two cribs. Mm, travel crib? No, I don't really want to get that. Alright, we'll just get this Blanco contemporary crib. Sketch. Okay. Oh! <laughs> she just... Oh. oh my word, she just put the baby under the crib. She was holding it, and she put him down underneath. <laughs> Oh, you silly woman. Okay, we'll just pick up your baby and put Benson to sleep. Brayden to sleep. And you can go and cook a grand meal. Grand breakfast or a ham dinner. I suppose if she cooks the ham dinner, they will have that to eat on for a few meals. Come on, Arabella, go use the... Oh, pee like a champion. Pee like a champion and then you can go and... What are we going to do? Abstracts. Hmm. Large abstracts. Shame. Poor Benson is not happy. Alright, well, let's get him to use his diaper and hopefully he'll go to sleep after that. Why is she angry? Hot headed. Oh, she's hot headed. Let's have some of our ham dinner. Call to grand meal. So, Bella and her teenage daughter Arabella are enjoying a grand meal on Harvest Fest. Bye Arabella, bye Bella, see you next time.